Grassy areas need managing to prevent them turning into scrub and woodland. Caring for God's Acre encouraged people to manage grassland in four ways. Short grass, which looks like a lawn. Medium grass, which is longer but still regularly cut. Long grass, which mimics an old-fashioned hay meadow, left uncut for much of the spring and early summer. Tusky grass, which is coarser and rougher than long grass. In the past, burial grounds were probably cut a few times a year and a hay crop taken. If you allow the grassland to grow long, you may well be rewarded with a fabulous show of flowers and different grasses. Look out for dog daisies, betony, scabious cranes bills, crested dogtails and sweet vernal grass. You may find orchids, quaking grass, wild daffodils and pignut. With the plants come a variety of bees, butterflies, moths, small mammals such as mice or voles, and birds perhaps feeding on insects or seeds. Tusky grass is less attractive with fewer flowers and more coarse grasses. It provides good shelter with hollow plant stems perfect for overwintering insects. Look out for slow worms, frogs, toads and hedgehogs. This is a very nice plant, pignut, tiny little lumbell. And that again is a, is a plant that's typical of an old meadow that hasn't been destroyed. That's a real ancient habitat. Very nice thing here, betony. And you've got a lot of red clover, these dandelion like plants which are cat's ears, fox and cubs here, we had an orchid over there, lots of different grasses, we're going to have um, black knapweed coming through in a month or two's time, so a great many different species just in for this one small area and different colours and different textures, really pretty. Shortgrass can be great for birds such as the green woodpecker which feeds mainly on ants. Look out for ant hills in your burial ground. These show that the site is old and undisturbed. Thrushes and blackbirds hunt for worms in shortgrass and in autumn you may be treated to a fantastic show of wax cap fungi. Medium grass is cut less often than short so more plants can flower. Look for drifts of spring bulbs, clover, south hill or bugle which will in turn attract foraging insects such as bees. Many burial grounds have patches of short, medium, long and tusky grassland and this mosaic of habitat is fantastic for wildlife. Short and medium grassland can both be managed with a garden lawnmower. Short grass is mown every couple of weeks in the growing season, medium usually monthly. Remember always to collect the grass cuttings and either remove them from your burial ground or compost on site. Long grass is left uncut for about 12 weeks in spring and early summer. Yellow rattle is a useful tool for managing long grass and you may want to plant it into this area. So this is a really useful plant, yellow rattle, also called hay rattle because it's a, a, a plant of hay fields. It rattles when it's set seed. You can actually hear the seeds rattle in the, in the pod. So that's where the name comes from. And it's partially parasitic on grass. Um, so it's sapping some of the energy and the strength from the grass. So it's really useful if you're trying to get a, a wildflower meadow um, like this fantastic um, cemetery here, because it's drawing out the vigor from the grass and allowing more, more of the space and the sunlight to get to the wildflowers. Tusky grass is cut and raked once a year in late summer or even once every other year. Think and plan which type of grassland is best where. Maybe short around visited graves, medium where there are spring bulbs, long in the older historic parts of a burial ground and tussocky against walls, compost bins or perhaps an area away from the entrance. Well, as, an, as part of, of an ancient meadow, which this is, uh, ancient meadows are becoming very rare and it's nice to think that we are preserving 
a little bit of it here.